All right. We're going to do some more Halls of Torment. If you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for clicking. Hope you've been enjoying so far. I didn't get to play as this class last time, so let's check it out. Just a sec. Yeah, I'm curious if this works with her. Some of the stuff is just like, well, kind of a no brainer. All right. This stage. This is usually a good test. It's probably the hardest stage. Oh, what is this? Fame of Mastery, choose an ability skill. So I can pick her ability. Okay. Go with this. Oh, this is like a weird garlic. Everything has to be compared to garlic <laughs> vampire survivors. Um, guess get damage. Attack speed. I'm curious if that affects cast right. I'm probably gonna need to get range with this. Uh, force? Ruthlessness? Hang on. Apparently it increases duration, so I guess let's see. Definitely range. I'm gonna go area and range. Okay, so it looks like forces a specific stat. I can see how this is gonna get scary. Decrease area. I want area to be big. There we go. This is fun so far.
Oh, okay. I get how it works now. Of course, I have to look over the, the thing. Like a detonator. That makes it a lot harder to use. Pretty fun. Okay, that one's a no-brainer. Better than the warlock. Uh, ba -ba -ba. pick up. So admittedly I'm not taking out this this elite as quick as I would want to. Strike. Keep going, area. I want this area to get massive. It's small, I'll get crit. The fact that I've already hit that number. Crit. I'm going for the, the scroll. Electrify chance? Okay. I'm guessing that's just... Hmm. Maybe more likely that lightning bounces off, I don't know. Area, thank you. I'm doing okay. Multi strike, damage, movement speed. All right, good crit. Uh oh.
Uh, Kick down crit. Trust in big explosions. Elemental search transforms the damage of summons to ice, but I don't have it. I don't have summons though. Multi strike. Okay. What the, what's the point of the warlock then? The warlock is the summon class that doesn't have stuff. Although maybe these are new skills they've added, I don't know. That sure would have been useful. That class struggles so much. Maybe it's actually playable now. Movement speed. Oh, nice. Every 30 seconds when damage place holy light. Heals 58 and... Okay. Every 30 seconds when full health drop power up. Um, I'm gonna go with this. Increase the crit. Since I have a crit build at the moment. Oh, already? Okay, well that went down quickly. Um, go stick to the ice. needle <laughs> I've never seen that before Decrease the radius. Even if it does give me one to multi strike for it. modern Diablo mentality, honestly. Just area damage. Gotta keep it. Uh, yes. <laughs> there we go.
rift splinters. When arcane rifts explode, they emit magic projectiles. Okay. Oh, this is even stronger now. Uh, okay, I made the right choice. I mean, that gives multi-strike. And it reduces damage. Like, that's probably fine. As long as it keeps the AoE. Increasing crit. Frost Avalanche, Base Force. Go okay, Base Force. This character is a lot of fun. <laughs> Maybe I should give the Warlock another try if it has this new stuff. Uh, critical hits can apply Electrify. Or... What's the other one? Hold up. Ah, do that. that to make up for the damage reduction I did, but not completely. <laughs> Keep increasing area. Okay, um... I mean... I have area, so... I guess it makes sense to do this. Speed. Just need to make sure that stat is handled. for main weapon. Keep going crit. Uh, rain? 
damage. Keep trying area. Ooh, that was bad. Okay, it's almost dead. Uh, multi-strike, arcane rift, multi-strike, attack speed. Well, it's just positive. Spreads a debuff. I might just take that and go put it in the well. Assuming I survive. <laughs> uh, this. Why do I keep getting... Oh, cool. Reroll. Oh, that's cool. Oh, crap. Oh, I have really good movement speed. metabolism a little. I'm curious how it's going to go with the dragon that appears. Because also this is good for that, I'm not sure it'll necessarily be good for that dragon that pops up. damage for sure. I mean area, not area damage. trying to get to the well. Uh, Multi-strike main weapon force. Yep. Good force. Should nearly be there. Oh, 
Oh man, that that thing got wrecked. All right. Area. <laughs> now we bring fire into the equation. Strike an area of damage, base force, yeah. Just anything that gets close to me is gonna die. strike area cool okay put that away this is definitely going well and with the first run <laughs> I guess I stuck to a, a build. It worked. These explosions are crazy. Uh, I guess just stick, stick to that. I don't want to reduce area by any means. Let's see how this goes. I figured this would be a problem. The problem is this has to be in such a specific position, otherwise 
just does nothing. Uh, crit. Of. Yeah, this is not easy. Downside of my build is quite clear now. Go health region. Ah, okay, I got more, one more res. What is this? Oh, I think this is the stuff to craft potions, I remember now. Hurry up. All right, it's down. Ugh. Yeah, take this. <laughs> Extra damage because I'm missing health. Let's go. Could not have come at a better time. This crap. All right, forgot about this. Dragon was the hardest part. I'll be fine now. I'm gonna dump points into regen. I think I should just be able to chill here. Region. Uh. 
uh, area. <laughs> this build would've been pretty fun. multi-strike and attack speed. I feel like this is the strongest I've got in the spell. Things take forever to clear out. I don't think I can squeeze in there. Just worried if I run in, I'm gonna die. Ugh, it's not looking good. something in the well. That was kind of fun. Okay, now I'm curious. <laughs> Have they done anything to this class at all? I guess I'll see. Oh. They give the warlock a free spell as well. Okay. Oh, that was bad. Hold on. Nope. <laughs> Not taking that right away. It is detrimental to grab that right away. Well, I guess let's see. came in here. Oh no, it's fine. It's the same. I thought I didn't change the items that I came equipped with. Um, go with range.
I'll be surprised if this does well. Uh, I guess I'll keep going range. Lose health, but then you increase your damage. Plus 15 damage to summons, that's all we want. I'm gonna increase my health, because if they sacrifice stuff, that'll counteract the fact that I've lost health. how this goes now. This, if this thing doesn't die quickly, well... If I can't get rid of it by the time the next enemy spawns, then yeah, that's problematic. So far, I don't. I don't have a stat that I'm aiming for. I guess I've been getting forced a lot, but I don't know if that's gonna do anything. I'm not convinced. <laughs> okay, cool. I got force, now I can trade force for multi-strike. Uh, get rid of... Uh, okay, get force again. I think this is still the same problem, like, I want to focus the the big guy, but, well, right now it's focusing it, but before, Golem was doing its own thing.
attack speed. Like it would be so nice if you could target just by clicking. health for more damage. I think that's honestly the problem with this class is just the automatic minions. I get why, but it's just... I think I'm doing a little better this time, though. No, okay. Well, that, that's pretty much the measure, is, like, if I can't kill this thing... By the time the next one shows up, it's it's not good. And I've been trying to attack this thing constantly. Like, you just get on the back foot and you just don't recover. Um, I'll go Frost. Since I got area, this might work out. Pretty much every class I've had a good time first run. Or, you know, not necessarily winning, but you feel the the character's potential. With this one, it just never clicks. It just feels like you're on the back foot from the get-go. gonna invest in Frost and hopefully that'll be enough to bail me out. But that, I guess, highlights a problem. It's like, if the thing that you're supposed to be using with this character isn't really allowing you to take things out effectively... I don't know. I can see more of them coming out now. This isn't doing a whole lot. Yeah, I mean, it's the same as last time. I just can't kill an elite quick enough before the next one comes out. There's, there's no targeting. Now, I'm even investing in, like, the blood sacrifice stuff to make my main stronger, and it's still not good. The only thing they need to change about this character is just click to target, that's it. Have minions prioritize the thing you click.
I know that they're trying to do a mode where, like, it's all hands off and it auto shoots, but for a summon class, you need to be able to target prioritize. It just doesn't make sense to not have it. That's the point of a summon class. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was bad. That was my fault, that one. I'll give it one more go, but this is the only character that I'm just not convinced with. Every other character, though it might feel like a struggle at the start, they, you at least hit your stride with them. This one, I've just never been able to do it. And this is playing it the intended way. Like, yeah, go summon. Or at least, not intended, archetype. Like, playing to the archetype. I tried area damage, didn't really do much. thought it would. Maybe car speed or attack speed might be the stat I need to go for. But I can't ignore that one. I would like to get a good run with this character. Okay. duration. Alright, here we go. Test again. Uh, yep. Just, I'm gonna keep decreasing my health. Uh, alright. Crit. Uh, go force, because I'm probably going to sacrifice force at some point.
Crap. Fifteen percent minions. I need that one that converts elemental damage from a minion. Like, why was I getting it on the other class? I didn't have it. Crit. Strike up, yep, that's what we want. The fact that I'm getting so many. So many of these that it just increase damage and it still feels like I'm not doing enough damage. Uh, I'll go movement speed. I'm moving too slow. speed. I still can't take this thing out before the other one turns up. Okay. Uh, what have I got? Multi strike. Magic projectile, physical blade. Yeah, I guess go that. We have crit, it's probably a good idea. Feels so stressful with this character. Uh, attack speed, force main weapon, attack speed, main weapon. Yeah, let's just. Something has to work well with this.
Attack speed and movement speed of summons. Ooh, that might be good. That's the other thing. They can't even catch up <laughs> to the thing they're trying to hit. make the summon thing work. What is this game? Pulls of Torment. It's in early access. It's kind of like Vampire Survivors, but it's mixed with Diablo as well, so you get gear and loadouts as well. It's a lot harder. Multi-strike. Can't get a build to work with this warlock. I've been doing blood sacrifices, hoping that it would give me a big edge over th things, but it's still... Oh, no. Nah. Okay, res. It's nearly down, but it's the same thing. I just can't get rid of one before the next one turns up. Roguelike? Yeah, roguelike. It's pretty much... In the same realm of vampire survivors, but then, ooh, that wasn't good. Everyone second has a chance to fly slow. That's a cool item. I'm getting it, but I'm probably gonna die. I might take it to the well. Oh, there we go. Transforms this damage of minions to electrify. Okay, cool. Maybe this is the missing piece now. You find gear, you retrieve it in the well, and then it becomes available to use, so it's like... As you find stuff, you get stronger. Um, damage... Alright, I'll just get raw damage. Oh my god. Metabolism. Just get some health regions. Probably not going to help.
The key difference with this one is you don't get to the same ridiculous... Everything just dies in one hit sort of thing. You do get really strong. It does feel satisfying, but you don't get to the point where you can basically sit still and you'll be fine. And at the end of the, uh, the time, the 30 minute time that you have to survive, there's a boss fight. So that's the difference. Along with the gearing thing. Attack speed. Yeah, I don't know, man. Golem's melee attack deals fire damage. Does that stack with lightning? Um, I'll go frost. What the controls are the same. So this has different control schemes. You can go automatic aim and automatic fire, or you can turn either one of them off individually. So you can aim and it automatically fires, or you can go completely manual where you shoot the weapon. So I've got um, manual aim on, but automatic fire. So it's like, yeah, a mix of the two. But you can choose uh, which you do. So that's one thing I like about it, because sometimes early on in Vampire Survivors, you want to attack a particular thing and you can't. So, that's a big plus. And it's, it's less passive in that regard. Yeah, I'm a, I like my Diablo game, so like, the fact that this is in the style of Diablo is cool. This class sucks, man. They need to, they need to do something to it. I just... I just on the back foot the whole time and I was doing everything to put points into like the intended way to play it which is summons but then watch this watch how quickly I ramp up with any other class like this one for example on the bright side I did get this so wait where is it did I not hit retrieve I swear I hit retrieve on it. Oh no, you need to buy them from this dude. I forget. There it is. Right, what I retrieve from the well. Excellent. Alright. I forgot. You have to buy it. Now this is permanently available. Alright, let's go. But yeah, that's, it's in early access, so it doesn't have that many stages, but I imagine it's going to get as extensive as Vampire Survivors eventually. But I was playing this stage because this is the stage I find the most difficult. Okay, um, this skill was really cool. I really like this skill. area. I just need to get something to, I guess, make up for the fact that I'm relying on on explosions. Uh, movement speed. A 
electrify chance. And ignore that, that's like two stats. Uh, area. I'm gonna try and just make massive explosions. Crit. Sure. Got a little health regen. I don't want to neglect that. Okay, increase the area. Speed. All right, so let's see how quickly I can take this out. Uh, I'll go attack speed. Uh, this in the way. The fact that I've already done so much damage to this thing already, and I could not even get anywhere remotely close to this with the summon class, yeah. dead already. And it's not just this class. Every class can do this. Just for some reason the summon thing is just not good. Oh, okay. Well... Uh, don't want to decrease area, increase area. There we go. This is already ramping up. Multi strike, movement speed, crit, not crit. We make big booms. Force is good too. This, this spell. Making it, you run over like a particular thing. Uh, area.
Rip. I want to prepare for later when it gets hectic. Multi strike area. Yep, that's what we want. Big up. By chance. Uh, where is it? Damage, base force, damage, attack, speed, area, area. And regen, hell yeah. I can keep up with this horse. <laughs> Get wrecked. Alright, what am I getting? Leaves a trail of fire, summons. Okay, I'm taking this and I'm retrieving it. And I swear, if the summon class doesn't work with that item, it's hopeless. It's just absolutely hopeless. Dude. If it cannot win, or even take out the first elite quickly with that item in... Ugh, I don't know. Crit. But if I have to actually wear that thing just to even do well, I don't know. I feel like that should be the default. Um, I guess I'll go pick up. I've got a little utility. I'm heading to the spell now. Swarming. Okay. Just reading. Get wrecked. Um, wait, Arcane Rift moves slowly, slowly towards you and explodes when touching enemies. Their speed scales your movement speed. Oh, what is this? Oh, so they're like, they're like landmines now. 
Whoa, this is cool. <laughs> this makes it easier to detonate them. Oh, this is ridiculous. Um, crit. It did reduce the area. Did it reduce the area? Maybe I'm imagining that. I like this. Yep, give me more area. It's cool that you can run away from him. And then just do boom. boom. the upgraded light. Get wrecked. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Multi-strike, I guess. I don't think it's going to do much, but... Ow. Oh. Wait, so if I choose not to grab something, it'll give me 50% XP. You'll be compensated with half your current XP bar. Am I familiar with Dungeons and Dragons? Mm, not really. I know of its existence, but if you were to quiz me on certain things, I'm not the best person to ask. I know it exists. <laughs> That's the bare minimum. I know there's elves and dark elves. I mean, I didn't know there were elves and dark elves specifically in that, but I know of elves and dark elves because of other fantasy things. They're in Lord of the Rings, aren't they? This is what I mean. Like, assume I know nothing. Let's go with that. It's probably easier. It's just not something I ever got into. Just didn't have a group of friends that liked it. But I know what it is, just know nothing of it. I'm very happy with this build, this is so fun. Uh, crit. Oh yeah, no, that's, that's a no-brainer.
Okay. Ah, uh, doch. I don't think multi-strike affects what I have, but... Bigger! Crit range, crit range, crit range, crit. Hang on, I can't read a paragraph of text right now. Sorry, it's just... This is the kind of game where if I look away for more than a second, I'm, like, screwed. Give me a minute. Next level up. What is this? Oh, you're trying to make a connection with the Dark Elves because they live underground. Or the Underdark. Okay, I see the parallel. There's like, But see, that requires knowing all the lore of them. That's kind of neat, that detail. Wait, 18% movement speed? What? That's fine. It's like, thankfully I'm playing a game that, at the very least when you level up, you can take a minute and actually read chat. But any other moment in between, <laughs> that'll, that'll be the cause of death. I've died so many times in these games just reading chat when I shouldn't be. Bloat? Hell yeah. I mean, this is pretty much exactly like Vampire Survivors, but it's like... It doesn't get to the point where things become an unreadable mess. And it doesn't get to the point where you're not being able to see anything. It's a mix of that genre. But then it has Diablo elements to it, where you find loot, and um, your loot has affixes. It's like, that's my loadout. So. Oh, and you actually get to aim in this one. If you want. What did I get? That's very fortunate positioning. Crit. Attack speed for each enemy killed. When you die, the seal breaks and revives. I mean, it's a, eh, I probably won't rely on that. bonus. Hold on. Have I retrieved this yet? Oh, you can only retrieve one item. Okay, never mind. I retrieved those summoner gloves, because I just, I really want that class to actually be usable. Uh, but also I like that aesthetically it takes a visual style similar to Diablo 2, or at least games of that era. Okay, it, I'll get 10% area across the board. Twenty percent area, 10% total stacks. You got Diablo 1 as a Christmas gift, that's cool. Uh, I really wish I could have played those games, just never had... At the time, did not have a good computer. I've heard that there's mods for D1 that, um... Expanded and just 
add widescreen and all that stuff. I've been meaning to check it out, but it's just... There's so many other things to play. Oh, PS1. Oh, I forgot it was on PS1 as well. I didn't learn about that fact until way later. At the time, I didn't know it was on PS1. I probably could have checked it out. Then again. <laughs> then again, maybe not. Because... Well, we did get a PS1 way later, but... The PS1 was at my... My uncle, who used to live at my grandma's place, and my grandma was, like... Pretty... Religious. Like, old-school religious. So if she would have learnt that we were playing a game called Diablo, she probably would not have been happy. About 90 plus shipping to Australia. I mean, at that point, I'd rather play the PC versions. Available on GOG, and then there's all the mods that let you do widescreen and all that. Tell Grandma it's about killing Doom. I don't think she would have bought that. She also would have realized that, you know... It doesn't matter if you're killing demons, you're still killing, and it's something that's not for kids. Force, pick up, force. I guess I've got force. I forgot the name of the mod, but the, the mod seems pretty cool. Because it finishes up a bunch of content that was cut from the game. But also allows it to run at 16 to 9 and a good... Re well, it doesn't upscale or anything, but at least it allows better resolution options. My uncle once brought a statue of a dragon from from Thai was it Thailand, one of the Southeast Asian countries. I can't remember. I'm pretty sure it was Thailand, but she flipped her shit. <laughs> wow, this build is so good. These explosions are insane. Um, what do I even get it? I guess movement speed is going to make these things move quicker towards me. It almost feels like there's a build in Diablo 3. It's like uh, the wizard build where you cause explosions on your, on your feet. It feels like Pretty much like that, but I guess you have you have to time it. I'd be curious if they try to make some gameplay feel like builds. Um, I guess just go flat damage. It's like, well, you're you're banned from reading Chronicles of Narnia because of magic. Oh man, that sucks. Yeah. I love my family, but sometimes I forget, oh wait, that's right, <laughs> just with the, uh, the over-the-top, uh, well, fears. You weren't allowed to learn about evolution other than school, because science- oh! 
Huh. I mean, okay. My background is like... So, most of the family is pretty religious, but it's just, I guess... For us specifically, my dad kind of pushed towards, like, not being like that. Kind of went the whole path of, like, well... They'll probably be not well integrated with with Australia if they were to, like, just go to Sunday school and do all that stuff. So he kind of left it up to us, as weird as that was. But also he had his own experiences in life that kind of made him jaded to the whole concept of church. Not religion. It was like, to be clear, he's, you know, believes in God, all that stuff. He He's religious, but he just doesn't believe in in church or the system of a church because man i don't know the full i don't know his full story he doesn't really talk about it but he's been through some shit and uh the way he describes it is like where he grew up they took a lot of money but then the status quo never really changed so i don't know So if us, it's like, well, family's pretty religious, but I'm not. And I guess I credit that to my dad. Tires are just another tax. Yeah. I'm not going to, like, say that it doesn't help people, because it does, but... Not as much as it should, I guess. But also, he just didn't like, I guess, the circle that um, were around when I was growing up. It's just, people were very gossipy and just, that's all they went to church for. And a lot of them shunned learning English. Because this was at a time where I primarily spoke Spanish, so it was like... Yeah. Ooh, look at this. Yeah, I'm not trying to, like, say every church is like that, but... Just specifically growing up, that's what it was. And I think for me, it's just, I guess, having to go to a building to prove you're a good person. I don't know. That just doesn't fly with me. It's like, I'm gonna live my life and be a good person where I can be. I'm not perfect. I make mistakes. But to really say that if I don't go to this building every week, then I'm screwed? I don't know, man. That just doesn't sit right with me. Oh, what is this? I have not had these two things happen at once. Let's see how we go. Oh no, this is absolutely destroying it this time. Last time I struggled so much. Yo. Nah, I'm brute forcing it. Nice. I won't be able to get it yet, but... Are you saying every church is gossip-filled? Sorry, I'm missing, like, a lot of what you're writing because... Um... I should be pausing. I'm doing it again. I'm trying to read chat whilst playing, and it's not the best idea. I'm gonna die. Hang on. When I level up next, I'll read properly. Okay, hold on. Oh, the food banks have been amazing. Okay, there we go. And if you want gossip, you'll lose social media. Yeah. 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 
It's a it's a subject that's like hard to talk about because I get it. I think the way I, I live is like try I try to be a good person. And I don't think I need to go to a building to prove that. That's my view. If you want to do that otherwise, that's fine. I'm not going to shit on people for doing something that gives them, that at least gives them a sense of comfort or meaning. It's different to what I believe in, and that's fine. Uh-oh. But yeah, most of the, the kids that went to that, um... Well, I guess that particular church. They all have accents and they just don't speak English properly. And it's the same with their parents as well. Like, my parents... Their English is really good and... They have, they have accents, but it's not extremely thick and, you know, their vocabulary is really good, but then... I have other family members who, I mean, some of them went to high school in Australia, but they just kind of stuck to the, the whole circle. They didn't really try to make friends with people outside of the whole, like, Spanish-speaking circle, and they just don't speak English properly. Outside of a few ex minor examples where I'll I'll trip over myself, you wouldn't be able to tell that I learned Spanish first. Ugh, I hate this. This is cool, but like, man. This wall of soldiers is so tanky. Um, fire street projectiles in an arc in random directions. Went to the post office the other day. Dude behind the counter was speaking fluent Spanish, then flipped to fluent English. Talked to him about it. Fluent in five different languages. Told him he's too qualified to work at the post office. Yeah, that requires like a pretty good level of understanding and logic and intelligence to be able to do that. My dad, like, made the decision very early on to learn English as best as he could, because when they came to Australia, apparently I was really sick. I was an infant at the time, but on the flight, I developed this, like, really high fever. And so... On the plane, because they were refugees, so they came with other people that spoke Spanish, and no one spoke English, so no one could help him convey that, you know, I was sick and he was just worried. So he kind of had that scare where he was just helpless and couldn't really communicate. And that's when he decided, nah, like, gonna learn English, make sure that we learn English properly because he doesn't want, like, that scenario to pop up again. What is going on? They're not- they're not dying. <laughs> it's just this wall of soldiers that just doesn't want to die. I want to go collect the loot that I dropped.
This is a very cool build, but you would think this wall would go down. Uh, let's go with that. You're fluent in English, you can understand Spanish, but you're terrible at speaking it. My Spanish used to be better when I was younger. It's fallen a bit. I think my vocabulary has just dropped. I, I think I could refine it. Like, I don't sound like an English person trying to speak Spanish. I can still do speaking pace and just how words are supposed to sound correctly. I don't sound... Uh, I guess not confident when I speak it. But I will trip over myself because it's just... I guess because I haven't really spoken that much outside of being at home with my parents. And since I don't live there anymore, like, it's been over a decade... I don't get much chance to speak it, but I feel like I could refine it if I wanted to. And get better at it. Why are they not dying? <laughs> Everything is erupting. You need a moment to process Spanish? Yeah, I can see that. My brothers are like that. Well, two of them. They can understand it perfectly well, but then to speak it, they they take like a good a good few seconds to speak and they'd need to think about what they're about to say. is going on why won't they die <laughs> i just want to go get my stuff um area down yeah i mean make these explosions just massive envelop everything i kind of got into vampire survivors length now like it's just massive things happening Ooh, i accidentally walked into one I've kept my mouse cursor as well. Okay, 70% damage for just a 20% reduction. I'm sorry, that's totally worth it. Like, the aura AoE is already massive anyway. I think at the very least what I want to do eventually is learn how my mom makes certain foods. So I don't want that to get lost. At the, as a bare minimum. Like, the language is like, yeah. It would be nice for me personally to be able to speak it better, but... I think the food's where it's at. I need to make sure that gets preserved somehow. Okay, uh, hold on. Now I need to focus. I don't get why those things didn't die. Dude, oh my god, that damage. Okay, but like, the problem is I can't see what I'm doing when that happens. I might lose cause, just because these explosions cause so much visual noise. Oh my god. But 
I want to go collect things. No, yeah. Oh, oh no. I don't know what was going on there. I've got some health just so I can survive potentially. I think I might just have to, yeah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Okay, well, now I can go freely collect that, but hang on. Now we're done. You tend to speak Spanglish when you speak English, because certain words escape your brain. I don't do that. That'll happen if I'm speaking with my family, but English in general, I'm generally okay. It's just once in a blue moon, there'll be a word where I'm like, shit, I don't know the English word for that. Why don't I know the English word for that? Oh, wait, yes, I do. And then I'm okay. This build was fun. Wish I could say the same thing about the golems. Okay. Oh, but I... 50% all melee ch attacks apply affliction, base damage, multi strike. I mean. This build was a lot of fun. The fact that the boss just got evaporated that quickly, I probably could have just taken it out. But I wanted to see what these items were, so then I guess I'm aware of them. Thirteen million. <laughs> the rift. I mean, even Electrify did all right. All right. Um, let me just... Go see over here. Strong Wine allows you to reroll complete traits. Okay, so I gotta gather more of these things. It doesn't let me scroll. <laughs> That's a bug. Okay. I guess... Alright, I mean, it's, it's more opportunities. I need to look into it more. What about here? I'm buying these, and I swear if the summon is not good after that, they need to look at that class. Okay, I just noticed the time as well. I got a, I got a jet. Got a... Cook some food, and then I'm gonna head out. I'll probably be back later. Depends how late I get back, but I'm not sticking around till midnight, because it's gonna get busy in the city. It's a nice day, so. They have this pre-New Year's fireworks show that I'll go see, but other than that, I'll probably come back and just chill for the evening. Anyway, if you're watching this later on YouTube, thanks for sticking around to the end and hope you've been enjoying me checking this out every now and then once they do updates. So there'll be more um, of this in future when they add more things to it. But in the meantime, if you want to support the channel, just do the thing. Click the buttons like the like button or you can also watch me do other things by watching one of the videos that pop up. Yeah, we'll see you next time.